the formidable robot. Hey there folks, it's me, Tobico Studios, owner of the Formidable Robot Channel. And today, I have found one of the worst creepypastas ever uploaded to the Spin Pasta Wiki. Well granted, Spin Pasta still had been making terrible stories over the years since THX Pastas. All of these were just the same, with a few exception of new good ones that I've made videos about. What I've been seeing on the new stories page were just shitty lost episode stories in a form of fan fictions and nothing else. Not to mention the evil characters and murdering spree trend, which is something you would see in a bad lost episode creepypasta from like the early to mid 2010s but over 9000 times worse, and that kinda pisses me off. And what's this pasta I found, you may ask? It's a bluey lost episode that is just, downright fucking atrocious. Surprisingly enough, the screenshots for this story were broken, so I wasn't able to view them. Though I do know about Bluey. It's an Australian children's show that is popular in 2018 and still to this day. Granted, I did watch some Bluey episodes on UK television which is on CBBS, a sister channel of CBBC that airs shows made for babies and toddlers alike. Hell, I don't know why such a grown-ass man would watch a show about a little blue dog going on adventures with her family and all that crazy shit you would see in any preschool show. I guess it's, er, fine, for an adult to watch cartoons targeted towards small children. Oh, oh yeah, this is the first time doing a Bluey video on this channel. Anyways, before I begin with this so-called creepypasta, this is only made for constructive criticism and no hate nor harassment was ever intended. I would give the author credit where credit is due, since they need to improve on their writing. So let's do this. Well, it all started when I was 934. I watched every Bluey episode, even bedtime. The saddest episode of season 2, and I didn't watch one. One singular episode, that is dementia. Okay, that was like, the lamest beginning I have ever read, for a computer voice. Also, have you ever heard of commas? It's not that fucking difficult. Commas are very important for writing, even for creepypastas. You don't have to abuse periods as opposed to commas in your sentence or sentences. The problem is, some words are capitalized in which they should not be capitalized. Furthermore, you didn't specify where you watched this episode. Was it on TV, or a VHS or DVD you find at eBay or a garage sale? Oh, uh, I don't know, I just fucking don't. Be more specific on where you found and watched this episode. Oh, Jesus Christ on a bicycle. It first showed Bluey playing Pizza Tower. I should recommend you play Pizza Tower, it's a good game. And she was just on the tutorial level. Really? No title card or anything? And oh. Adding Pizza Tower in a lost episode creepypasta are we? What the fuck is up with bad creepypastas shoehorning trendy video games and media of all places? Granted, people always have to add references to popular media trends in a lost episode or video game pasta like Alphabet Lore, Scabby Toilet, The Amazing Digital Circus, Friday Night Funkin', all that good shit. Though I did add Pizza Tower in my top 15 least favorite creepypasta trends for some reason, despite there's only one Pizza Tower pasta on the creepypasta fanon wiki that is just Sonic.exe on cocaine. Oh god, the part where Pizza Tower got a reference in a Bluey episode. What the fuck is this shit, an Elsa Gate video? Though I've heard about Elsa Gate on YouTube, I mean the new Elsa Gate since last year, making fake and messed up Bluey episodes no child should watch, and it goes over with the likes of Huggy Waddy, Rainbow Friends, Among Us, and so much more. No more of that Spider-Man and Elsa shipping type of crap, it's now just downright depraved videos out of new trends of the 2020s. As an adult, I do find these videos annoying, mediocre, and never made any sense. As of the fake Bluey episodes on YouTube, it had the same Peppa Pig and Mickey Mouse problem all over again but 50 times worse. God, thinking about these makes me want to squeeze the jelly from my eyes so it would look good on toast. But continuing. Until Bingo went into the room going, nuts, in capital letters and spaces. Holy cuff, Bingo what the hell happened? Bluey exclaimed. What? Pulling up curse words in a fucking preschool show? And oh, the word fuck was spelled backwards for some dumb reason. 
Was this trying to censor the word fuck, but failed, in, a, kids, show, and, creepy, pasta, of all places? How fucking cringy can you even get? Bingo said, all spaces. Great, grand, father, has, dementia? In a demonic tone. Bluey decides to play it off until she realized what Bingo said was, true. Oh cuff, great grandfather has dementia. With a high pitch ringing noise. Again, fuck was spelled backwards. Also, adding a demonic voice on a character for no reason are we? What the fuck is this Foster's home death of back kind of crap, despite that pasta is not good to begin with? How edgy can you even be, to add a demonic tone on a character at the beginning of an episode, despite that the character isn't even evil or something? Damn it, what a mouthful. Bluey continues to play Pizza Tower as if nothing happened, and she beat the tutorial and she moved on to John Gutter, no period whatsoever at the end of the paragraph. Then Bluey disappeared and appeared again only to find Bingo in the void. Bingo turns into a beast that she really is but isn't in the canon show. Oh my bad. I didn't know that Bingo was a demon all along, despite her tone sounding demonic in the fucking beginning of the episode. Bluey attempted to find Bingo but wasn't there and, wall you best it, played Pizza Tower. Oh, you silly bastard. Not even the two names Bluey and Bingo are capitalized in this damning sentence. Also, what the hell is this Sonic.exe type of bullshit, with fucking Pizza Tower and all that crap? Chili and Basta, I mean Bandit, was discussing the pentagram in the attic. <laughs> Jesus Christ man. I like how you attempted to mistake Bluey's dad's name Bastard instead of Bandit, which again, is not fucking capitalized. Hell, even the I is not capitalized, like what the fuck? Chili and Bandit was discussing the pentagram in the attic that acts like the SML black chair. Oh, one thing I like to mention. It's supposed to be, Chili and Bandit were discussing the pentagram in the attic that acts like the SML black chair. Also, are you fucking serious? Why was it a good idea to reference an SML creepypasta that is good, called the black couch? Granted, it had like cliches and stuff, still, it was a good story, though the ending was kinda forced. Jesus Christ, first Pizza Tower, now Super Mario Logan in a very popular kids show like Bluey. This is just like those other spin pasta stories all over again. It then cut to static for 25 or so seconds before this happened. Jesus Rice Krispies. Not even the first word in this sentence is capitalized, after a fucking full stop. Look, I am meant to save my restaurant from an evil sentient pizza, but there is a major problem with Australia. There is a pentagram in the healer's attic right now, and it is sending people to the same place as the black couch. Now I have to get back to saving my pizzeria. Bye bye. Pepino said that. Oh yeah, the grammar in this story is fucking rancid. And oh god, two more lowercase i's, and a lowercase word at the start of the sentence after a period. Hell, it's just as bad as my inanimate insanity crappy pasta, Balloon's Suicide, which I did make a video about it almost a year ago. Then it cut back to the episode but with all of the everywhere at the end of time props put in random locations but Bluey was doing something else. Yeah, just add a fucking reference to the caretakers everywhere at the end of time, that will make your story oh so original. Just as better as Sonic.exe, where it reference all sorts of shit that doesn't belong in a Sonic game. You can't tell that I was being sarcastic. She was asking Bandit why there is a pentagram in our attic. Our attic? You mean their attic? What are you trying to say offer? Then a brief moment of contaminated M plus R played. Then it cut to Bingo, waiting for Bowser Jr. Air Jeffy to come down the black couch. Oh my fucking god. Bowser Jr. and Jeffy, huh? You were still fucking tying the black couch, an SML creepypasta that I liked, but dear god. There's no fucking way that this is trying to be a serious lost episode creepypasta, on a fucking baby show. Then it cut to Bingo, waiting for Bowser Jr. Air Jeffy to come down the black couch, saying things like... Damn it. I believe they must be written in base 64, but it made me think that the author purposely bashed their keyboard to make such gibberish mess. 
Nope, it's just Base64, and I have to decode them with a Base64 decoder website. Saying things like, Where are you, Bowser Jr.? And, I am the beast of all that is Mechanoli, and the shall perish. With blood on her eyes and teeth and also her legs went from 4 to 6 with now 4 hyper-realistic eyes. Oh what's the point of talking about a phrase that was overused in many many bad creepypastas. And then it cut to the secret door in Bluey's house with the words do not enter on it with ambient noise. Muffin Healer decided to open the door and she was sucked in the door to see the creature. She succumbed to Bingo's biomass to form Bingoffin Healer, and then the credits said, no quotations whatsoever. You are next, it's your fault. What did I do? Once again, the last fucking lowercase i. And that folks was the lost episode of Bluey, called, Dementia. My final thoughts? This, this story was absolutely, I mean absolutely, a broken cliched piss poor badly written rancid atrocious cancerous cringy insufferable confusing nonsensical trend killing god awful can't think of any good words piece of crap. I mean, the grammar is atrocious. There are some lowercase i's, some sentences that start with a lowercase word after a period, lowercase names, unnecessary and randomized capitalization, misspelled words, typos, all that shit. Forget about the piss poor grammar, let's get on with the episode. The episode is a fucking confusing mess. There's a bit of cursing in a kid's show, with fuck spelled backwards for some reason in an attempt to censor, like what the fuck? Also, Pizza Tower and SML, especially the Black Couch Creepypasta, being used as references in the episode, along with everywhere at the end of time being mentioned. Well, the everywhere at the end of time part was shortened into initials in the story anyway. Seriously, I have seen and heard worse from any dedicated creepypasta wiki. Still, it was a garbage story that no sane person should ever read. Sadly, spin pasta is just not the same anymore. I would never have the fucking audacity to narrate these kinds of stories on that wiki, mostly lost episodes centering around PJ Masks, Yo Gabba Gabba, and other kitty shows I don't care about. Good grief. Overall, this is my opinion, and if you disagree with it that's fine, because we are all entitled to our own opinions and this is simply my thoughts. I'll rate this story a negative 420 out of 10. This is Topical Studios and I'm out.